welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very exciting video because I just got this package in the mail yesterday and I thought I would just do a first impressions, wear test and overall review of the new Too Faced Peach Perfect collection and especially this new foundation called the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Like really everything in this collection smells amazing. It smells like peaches and fig. And um, this new foundation has 20 shades. I don't know if it's too excessive or whatever, but I love the packaging for one. All the packaging in this entire collection is super cute. These are the blushes. So I have here with me, this is um, Too Faced Peach Frost, which is the highlighter. And I also have the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks. These are the very, very cute cream blushes. So let's go on and dive into it and put it on our face. Okay, so first thing first, there is a primer in the collection called the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I've got very, very, very dry skin, so I'm really hoping that it will not dry me out too much because I heard that the foundation is actually pretty matte. Maybe we should just apply this on areas where I get oily, which is just around my T-zone and the sides of my nose as well as my chin. So it comes with a pump like this and ooh, the texture is pretty like silicone, I guess. It's like your typical pore smoothening kind of primer. Smells nice too, smells like peaches. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on my forehead. It does actually have a cooling sensation, but it is not like, you know, minty or anything. And I don't know if it's just me, but I do see like a pink color. I think it's meant to brighten up your skin as well. As of now, it feels just like a normal primer. I just pretty like the scent. I really like how it blends, how it wears. But we have to put it on for a while and obviously under foundation to see how it works. Then there are 20 shades of this Comfort Matte Foundation. I chose Warm Nude. Hopefully, it will be my shade. But it says oil-free, 14 hours wear, oil controlling and photo friendly. So from the sounds of it it just sounds like a matte foundation which i'm a little bit scared so let's put it to the test Ooh. it is pretty liquidy as of now let's see oh and it's quite full coverage put it on my face i think the shade is not bad quite a good match <laughs> to my skin it's slightly tanner but there's nothing concealer can fix. I feel that with this kind of foundation, you can actually use your fingers because the texture is quite similar to that of a lotion. I would say the coverage is actually medium. It is not full, but you can definitely build it up, I guess. Okay, let's see how it works with a sponge. Let's have my beauty blender over here. It smells very nice. But don't worry, if you're not a fan of scents, this is actually not very strong smelling. It just smells like a very, 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 very subtle peach scent. But it is not like super sweet as well, so don't worry. Oh, I like it so far. I only put a little bit, so... As of now, I can see that it is kind of clinging onto my dry patches and making my pores quite visible over here. Not sure why this is the case. But I am a fan of the Too Faced Bond This Way foundation. I feel that that foundation is very, very flawless, but um, it was also one of like the pioneers of matte foundations that are full coverage, but didn't have that much weight to it. You know, it didn't feel heavy or cakey. Slightly better now that there is like a second layer. But it is indeed matte. And because I've got dry skin, I don't think this is the perfect foundation for me. But I can see why like people would like it, especially if you've got oily skin or if you are looking for a matte foundation that would last. But uh, we don't know about the lasting power. This foundation actually settles in quite fast, so you gotta work quite fast as well. Okay, now from the screen, it actually does look a little bit full coverage, but I would say it's not you know, you're super full, it is like medium to full and it's definitely buildable. But I have applied it around my eyes and I can see a little bit of creasing already. Okay, now let's go in with concealer. I'm just gonna be using my Makeup Store concealer. This is the smooth cover. I knew that this foundation would be really matte, so I'm going for something very, very hydrating and watery, like this concealer that is very sheer. So hopefully it will combat some of this 
dryness that is going on. Sometimes it really isn't about it being a bad product, but sometimes it's just not suitable. There are products out there that are suitable for some people and they are just not. Hmm, I love this concealer. I think it pairs very well with the Too Faced foundation. But I think it is what it says. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's quite comfortable as well. But as of now, I think the coverage is a little bit too full for my liking. <laughs> Because I'm not your full coverage kind of girl. Looks better with the concealer. So in the Peach Perfect collection, there's also the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder infused with peach and sweet thick cream. So this is actually a loose powder. There's also this thing called the Peach Blur that looks like this. And uh, apparently it is a translucent smoothing finishing powder. But it looks like a blush. So let's give this a go. I want to see how it looks like. Taking my big powder brush from Beautiful. Oh, okay. So it just kind of have a little bit of a pinkish tone to it. But it's not like a blush or anything. It is pretty fine. And um, it does kind of mattify a little bit. But you know, you're not be able to bake with this. All it does is it gives you like a very three-dimensional kind of glow to your face. As you can see, it's not that much more matte compared to this side. But I can see this being pretty similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder because it has like a slight little shimmer. It's so finely melt that it looks like you're kind of glowing from within. But I think it doesn't do that much for your pores. It doesn't do that much for smoothening or blurring in my opinion. So this is one side done. And I don't know if you guys can see, it has a little bit of a blurring effect but you can see how it clings onto my dry patches and my pores, right? This is with the powder, this is without the powder. Okay, I guess this powder does work a little bit. But you do need to be quite generous with it because it is not very, very pigmented and it doesn't come out that much onto this brush. Okay, I take it back. I actually do like this powder. I think it makes my skin very soft and blur. But at the same time, it's not too matte. It's still very, very three-dimensional and makes you look like you've got really good skin. And it comes with a mirror too, so that's plus. Then we'll go in with our brows. For brows, I'm just gonna go in with my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And also kind of colour my brows a little bit with my Kate Brow Mascara. In the collection, there are also two eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is the White Peach Palette as well as the Just Peachy Matte. I really like both of them. They are super cute. So this one is Just Peachy Matte. And this one is White Peach. It has um, a mixture of both shimmery, satin, glitter and matte eyeshadows. And they are mostly like more towards the cooler tone kind of colour. Whereas for just peachy mattes, it is more peachy tone. They're all, all mattes, but um, I really like the colors of this one a lot more than the other one because I feel that I'm super like warm toned. So I can't really pull off a lot of cool shadows that well. So today I'm going to be using this palette. So today we're going for a very sweet peachy kind of look. I'm going to first take this shade over here called Peach Tea. Oh, it's very pigmented and very creamy. I actually got my first eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. Um, it was a gift from Matthias. That was his first Christmas gift to me. And uh, I still have that palette today because I can't bear to throw it away. But I don't use it anymore because it's obviously expired. <laughs> but it holds so much like sentimental value to me. I really like this shade. I think it's a very, very nice like all around shade that kind of contours your eye socket. Then I'm going to go in with this shade called Peach Cobbler which is slightly more reddish toned and uh, applying it at the lower part of our eyelids for a little more depth. I think the shadows are very very pigmented and very easy to blend. The good thing is there's not much fallout as well. I'm gonna be taking a big fluffy brush and just blending it out. Go in with a little bit more of Peach Tea so bring it higher above your double eyelid line if you have. And now I'm gonna go in with um, this shade called Peach Sangria, which is this 
very beautiful plum shade and I think I'm gonna mix with a little bit of peach punch for a more like peachy color this eyeshadow look is so summery. Now let's not forget to use um, this shade called Peach Tart to just define our eyes a little bit on the outer corners. I'm gonna be taking this shade called Peach Butter which is like a chalky white kind of colour. Let's see how it works. Because usually for eyeshadow palettes, this colour is the hardest to make because it usually is like just totally white and patchy or there's just no color at all. So I have here with me my Pixie Glitter Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Rose Gold Liquid Fairy Light. For this, I'm just gonna apply in the middle of my eyelids. I'm just gonna apply a little bit here. Now it's time for contour. They actually have a Too Faced Bronze Peach Melting Powder Bronzer in the shade Toaster Peach in my package. So it is actually like a moussey texture. Hopefully it will work well because I don't want to ruin everything that we just did. Okay, with this, I'm just gonna use my fingers. It is actually shimmery. So I think I'm not gonna use this to contour. I'm gonna apply a little bit here maybe to kind of just cinch in the cheekbones. It has a pretty like powdery texture, which I'm not sure if I'm liking it. It is not really like a gel, it's not really like a powder, but it blends pretty well. It is very natural looking. It doesn't actually look that shimmery, but I still would prefer to go in with like a matte bronzer to contour my face. So this one is just like applying it around the cheeks to give it like a more warm bronzy glow. Then we have the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks in the shade Peach Berry. I chose this because I thought it looked really cool and I've used it already. Look at the colour of it, it looks quite intimidating. <laughs> but I've tried it and I really like it because it just gives me that very, you know, after you just had wine kind of look. And actually it's not that intimidating because you can always blend it out. I don't mind the blushes, um, they are pretty easy to use and it doesn't actually pull the products underneath my uh, base. But I think I'm still gonna contour with my Hula bronzer. I think I'm gonna go in with this blush from 3. It's in the shade Sweet Child. I really like how this orange is gonna look on my eyes. So I'm just gonna apply it right in the center of my apples. Over here, I have the Clinique Gel Eyeliner in 104 Brown Sugar. I have been using this. Look at how small this is. <laughs> apply it very messily on my eye line. So I drew my, the line drooping downwards because I wanted it to be very sweet and innocent looking. And I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm using this one from XL. I really like this eyelash color. And I have actually recommended it in my July favorite. So if you guys haven't watched that video, you should watch it. Using an eyelash base from this brand called Pimo that I got from Japan. Alrighty, then I'm going to go in with my Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. You guys know how much I love this. Needs no further explanation. Last but not the least, I have here my Peach Frost Happy Face. Um, this is actually a highlighter. I like it. So this is actually quite blinging, but because it is a gel powder kind of consistency, it is not too frosty and it's not too chalky looking, which is what I like. And then we'll go in with the lips. So for my lips, I'm using my Laneige Two-Tone Lip Bar in the shade number 9. So I'm going to give myself like a Korean gradient lip. Alright, there you have it. This is my peachy makeup look. Using most of the products from the Too Faced Peach Perfect collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and review. I will try my best to do some more check-ins, especially from the foundation. But so far, I think I'm not really liking it because it does actually cling onto my dry patches and accentuates my pores quite a bit but for the rest, I love the eyeshadow, I love the blush. The bronzer is shimmery so it's nice if you like the bronzy look. I love the highlighter, I love the peach blur powder. The only thing is the mattifying primer as well as the foundation. There is actually a peach mist. This is a mattifying setting spray. I think this entire line is all about like being matte. Well, first thing first, the 
spray it doesn't mist it in a very gentle and fine manner it just like pss, like you know one entire patch as you can see one patch is here one patch is here it smells like peaches too all right check in in a bit it is 307 which means three hours have passed and the sun is crazy hot just finished a photo shoot so i actually do quite like it like especially if you're from countries like singapore or like you know southeast asian countries where your weather is mad humid and you will be prone to perspiration this foundation is actually not bad rubbing off a little bit around the side of my nose but it, it's always like that so how's it good it's 4 34 so it's about four and a half hours since i've had it on i don't know if you guys can see but it is definitely getting cakey so it's cracking it's getting patchy because i've got really dry skin so i don't think this is very suitable for me honestly and um I'm starting to get shiny but this is the kind of shine that um, comes about because I am overly dry so my skin is overcompensating with some oils but I think it kind of makes the foundation a bit less cakey which is not that bad but overall I don't feel like I've got anything on my face it's not sticky and I think the blur powder is holding it up pretty well not that big of a fan for my skin but highly recommend it for people with oily skin this is the final check-in for this foundation. I have lost all of my blush, lost the highlight, I have lost the bronzer as well but I wasn't expecting it to kind of like last to 9 hours anyway. I would say that the foundation looks better as the time goes by because of how my oils mix in together with this matte formula and I quite like it because it is not super matte, like it's not that kind of cracking kind of matte but what I didn't like about it is that it kind of accentuates my pores and my wrinkles and especially cling onto my dry patches as you can see from my nose, I do have some dry patches and um, kind of like gathered around here and clung onto the dry patches around my nose so it did not survive around the nose it did not survive around here it did not survive around here as you can see from the pores as well i would say all in all it's not a bad foundation i would recommend it to people with oily skin you definitely need some touching up because um you know it's already all gone here so i would have touched up a little bit of foundation as well as concealer and powder maybe around like the 5 hours mark where I kind of started to see a little bit of shine because I feel that it was the oil that kind of took away the products and yeah it's not really a bad foundation I just personally would not reach for it that often or as much as I would like to the only time I'll probably reach for it is when I need to be like super flawless looking and I can you know have an opportunity to bake because I feel that with this kind of foundation, it will be a lot more flawless when you bake it with like a loose powder and a ton of powder. But if you're into Too Faced and one of the best eyeshadow palettes, I really like this eyeshadow palette. Um, till now, I still can see the colours on my eyes which is great and it was super easy to blend. The colours were pigmented, creamy and I just and really love the packaging of it. It's like super cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!